well, it's just obviously not adventure time setting here, but uh, it's summer. We're now just getting into the month of July. I don't do a lot of backpacking in the summer. It's kind of my, that's my off season. I know most people take the winter season off. I'm kind of the opposite. I take more of the summer season off. I don't do a lot of backpacking unless I go way up in altitude. What I've been meaning to do for a while is gear review stuff. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of money invested in this, a lot of gear. Uh, and I know myself personally, when I was getting into this and buying stuff, I was always looking for other opinions on gear or there might be a channel that just didn't have the one piece of gear I was looking for the review on. So I'm just going to add my investment, my back to the community here and kind of review the stuff I bought and have used personally over multiple trips. Uh, and I'm going to do a kind of a series of these through the summer, kind of going over all my stuff, what I prefer and why, and hopefully help some of you guys out that are getting into it and wondering where to spend your money. Cause like I said, as myself personally, I always appreciated, uh, the review videos. Today we are going to do a very hot topic, very, very serious. And actually it is very, I'm kind of joking, but this is a very serious thing for me. It took me this, this one took me a really long time to perfect and get right. Um, multiple tries with different different items and this is a tough one because you don't really think about it as much as all your other gear but camp pillow camp pillow that has been the hardest piece of gear for me to kind of perfect and get down and find the right pillow that's the right size the right firmness it packs down it's got the right weight because uh, pillows are very personal items and also depends if you're in a tent or if you're in a hammock so a lot of times in a hammock you don't even need a pillow uh, but if you're in a tent, you definitely are going to want a pillow. And if you're a side sleeper, back sleeper, stomach sleeper, that all factors into pillow selection. Uh, the main thing for me for pillow selection, especially if you're, you know, especially for guys that have, you have broader shoulders and you're a side sleeper, you know, when you're sleeping on your side, you're trying to fill this gap between your shoulder where it's on the ground, your shoulder and side of your head, right? So you want your head to kind of be even or even maybe up at a little bit of angle. But the one thing I don't want is kind of, that kinked over feel. So to fill this space and keep my head from dipping down requires quite a bit of pillow. There's a lot of pillow that's got to fill this, this void here. You can use your backpack, you can use your down jacket to kind of stuff things in there uh, to kind of build up a base layer and put a pillow over it. I've done that on several occasions, uh, but that's not always ideal. So I went on this journey trying to find the best camp pillow and I think I have it uh, I've used it on a few trips now and I really like it but it's always not one size fit all so the pillows we're going to be comparing today are going to be the tried and true so everyone's seen this one it's probably one of the most popular ones out there the Trekology inflatable simple inflatable Trekology pillow uh, it's one of the cheapest of the bunch I think it is the cheapest of the bunch I'll go over the prices and weight of all these uh, in a minute um, then we also have the Teton Sports which is a combination of inflatable and foam pillow. So it's got the foam in it and you can inflate it. Uh, more to come on this, this one. Uh, then you have the Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, the uh, Eclipse pillow, which is a very soft, nice pillow. Pick up from Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops, it's a camp pillow. And another popular one out there, you see a lot of videos and uh, backpackers use is the Thermarest uh, pillow, which is a good, Good little pillow but we'll kind of go over that in more detail as well so let's start with let's start with the trekology trekology pillow all right this little bad boy so these are what 16 i just looked all these up before shooting the video i found these for 16 dollars 49 cents on amazon so it's not super expensive pillow it's under 20 bucks it's inflatable has the pad strap on it uh, with a little rubber studs back there in the back you see this? Uh, it helps, it's supposed to help it grip your sleeping pad and keep it from sliding around. And it does, if you, especially if you use the strap, it keeps it from sliding around. Uh, and you, know, you have this kind of cut out here, which is supposed to be, so you can kind of get that shoved up under your neck to kind of help with what I was talking about. But these don't inflate big enough for me. So this, this pillow, and this is almost fully inflated. As you can see, you know, I need at least two of these to fill this shoulder to head gap here and that's you know with them blowing up super firm and that's the problem with these if you blow them up super firm they get bouncy you know so you're on them you're kind of like you know it's 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 not a, a very comfortable
feel. These are, this is my least favorite out of all my pillows. Uh, I've gone through a couple of these, uh, but they're cheap. They pack down really small, um, really lightweight, and really inexpensive. So they're super popular if you sleep on your back. This probably is just fine. I don't see why that would be much of an issue. Probably be pretty comfortable if, you, if you're a solely a back sleeper. But if you're a side sleeper, I definitely don't recommend this unless you buy two or three of them and then stack them. And then, they, and then these don't strap to each other, so then they're sliding off of each other. It's it's. I've had some rough nights with with this one, <laughs> the Trekology. So and I'll do the weights here at the end. Um, so then we're gonna we're gonna switch over to the next pillow. Oh, 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 all right. The Thermarest, this bad boy here, very popular on the backpacking channels. The uh, the old Thermarest travel pillow. We'll pack them down as well, so you see them all pack size. This one actually floss up really good, gives you nice firm. I mean, it's 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 almost there. The only problem with this one is you know as you lay on it, you're gonna kind of deflate it a little bit, so it's gonna lose some of that. But if you have a like you say, your backpack or something else under this, or maybe a trichology pillow, you stick it under this one. Um, this one can be very, very comfortable. It it's, doesn't pack down the smallest, and I'll show you that at the end here when I go through all of them with pack size. Uh, it doesn't pack down to be the smallest pillow. It's definitely not the lightest pillow of the bunch, and it's also the most expensive pillow. Of, uh, I just looked these up. They were $65 for this thing, for a, a pillow, $65. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I don't know if I paid 65 for it. That seems pretty excessive for a camp pillow. Um, the other issue with this one is to get it this lofty right here, you've got to unpack this thing in at least an hour, probably more than an hour to get it to loft up to this firmness. If, when you, if you have it packed down all day, it takes forever for this thing to loft up. So right when you get to camp uh, and you're setting up camp, you want to get this thing out of your bag and open it up and let it sit you know, for as long as possible, because that's going to give it its most loftiness. But this is a great pillow. This is, out of all the pillows here, this is my second favorite out of all. Of them. Uh, then we go to the Bass Pro Shops, the Total Eclipse. This is a nice big pillow. A lot of surface area. Just very, very soft. Super soft pillow. Uh, not a lot of firmness to it at all, which is its big downfall, because it's very, it's probably the most, like, to the touch, the most comfortable pillow out of all these. And if you doubled it up like this, you know, obviously you're gonna get a little more uh, of that width out of it to cover that area. But it's so soft that it's gonna kinda, that's gonna deflate, you know, not deflate because it's not inflatable, but it's gonna sink sink in throughout the night and you're gonna kinda be constantly readjusting it, trying to re-firm it up. So it's super comfortable. This is again, another pillow that I would use in conjunction with something else, another pillow under it and use this kind of as a top pillow. But if you're going for ultra light or trying to get it lightweight as possible, you're not going to want to carry two pillows. You're not going to want to carry this pillow because it is not as heavy. Well, we'll weigh them, but it's about as heavy as the Thermarest. It's very big. It doesn't pack down very small at all. I mean, so you're basically, there's no, there's no trick to this one. You're just rolling this giant pillow up and shoving it in the bag. So it takes up the most space out of all the pillows. Thermarest takes up the second most space out of all the pillows. And then we'll, we'll, we'll finally get to what is my favorite pillow of the bunch. This one I picked up a couple months ago. It's a Teton Sports. Um, oh, the Total Eclipse pillow, or Total Eclipse, Total Eclipse in my heart. Bass Pro Shops Eclipse pillow is going for $12.99. So this bad boy right here, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. That was on the Cabela's website. $12.99 is. That's about it. That's just, it's the least expensive out of this, out of all these pillows, including the inflatable uh, Trichology pillow. Uh, so then it takes us to my favorite pillow bunch, like I said, Teton Sports. Um, color, not my favorite, but this is a combination of both, the best of both worlds, right? It's got the foam inside of it, so there's a, a cushiony foam, kind of like these other, the Bass Pro Shops and the Thermarest pillow does. But it also has a valve so you can inflate it. So it's an inflatable and a foam pillow, which allows you to really dial in the firmness on this thing. So yeah, if I can I can get that bad boy up to like that. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's filling all that space. I mean, it's it's gonna be a little bouncy with that with that much air in it. But that's what's great about it. You just hit the little valve here while you're laying on it. 
You just kind of get it to where you want it. Tie it off, boom. You know, it's the best adjustment out of it. And because it has that foam in it, it, it just gives it it's extra the warmth. It gives you extra warmth when you're laying on it. Uh, and it makes it just more comfortable than just a regular inflatable pillow because the foam keeps it from being just a pure inflatable. It gives it some more firmness. Uh, and so I, I'll use this one in like a hammock or a, uh, a tent because you can adjust it so well and it's light. Um, weigh them again. It's got this little metal brass bow which adds some weight to it, but it packs down smaller than either the the Bass Pro Shop or the Thermarest pillow. It doesn't pack down as small, small as the Trichology, but it's a, it packs down pretty small. And it's pretty lightweight and it's super comfortable. So this would be my winner winner chicken dinner, the Teton Sports. This one's 20 bucks, $20, 20 bucks on Amazon. Great pillow, by far the best deal. Uh, that would be my favorite pillow. My second favorite would be Thermarest. It's a nice pillow. Uh, the reason it's not my favorite is because it doesn't pack down as small as the Teton Sports Pillow. It takes too long to loft up. Um, that would be my main two. Re index the price, obviously, if you're new getting into this, the price on this at 65 bucks. I don't know if I paid that for it, but I wouldn't pay that for it now. So that would be my second favorite. Third, obviously, the Bass Pro Shops Eclipse. And then we got the Trekology, would be uh, almost... Uh, it was better to bring no pillow at all. <laughs> pillow, but it, it's, it works. This could be a life-saving inflatable device if you fall into a river or something. Multiple uses, I don't know. But, all right, let's weigh these bad boys and put up some stats. The weights, I'm sure you can probably guess what the lightest of the bunch is. Boom, your trackology. Well, inflatable is definitely your lightest. That came in at a whopping of four ounces uh, for that bad boy right there. Uh, your second lightest pillow would be your Thermarest pillow. That's going to be your second lightest pillow. That one came in at a whopping 11 ounces for the Thermarest pillow. Your third and a very close call to the Thermarest is your Teton. That is coming in at one extra ounce, 12 ounces with the Teton pillow and then last but not least we got our Eclipse pillow the big boy over here coming in at 14 uh, 14 whopping ounces so uh, the biggest pillow in size and also the heaviest pillow out of the bunch so now we are going to pack them up and show you pack size with the weight out of the way and what they look like um, let's look at the pack packability of them so smallest of the bunch the Trekology obviously this thing Super small, very packable, very light. Um, it's that's its its key advantage, uh, huge advantage on that one. If, like I said, your back sleeper might be fine. Second in size would be a Teton Sports Pillow. So this thing packs up pretty small for your Trekology. It's obviously a lot bigger, but you're gonna see it compared to these other two. It's 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 pretty small for uh, compared to the other ones. Uh, but that's gonna be your second smallest because it's partially inflatable. You can, you can compress it down really tight and get it smaller. Compare that to our Thermarest. Those two have bags that come in a Thermarest. The way this one's done is it's got a little, its own little pouch on the side. Basically, you stuff it into itself. It's not the greatest design. It's a very weird shape. So when you pack it in your pack, it's very, you gotta get stuff around it. It's, 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 not and it's and then it gets really firm so it's it's probably the least packable out of all the pillows i would say would be the Thermarest, but um packs it on itself it does cut the size down probably to half what it was obviously compared to the Thermarest, um it's much bigger and bulkier the trekology it's a, a beast and then our largest it almost looks like a miniature sleeping bag <laughs> uh, is the cabela's eclipse pillow um very large compared to Thermarest. It's, eh, it's taller and it's not as thick. Your Teton, obviously much, much better in size. And then your Trekology, obviously it's much better now. Um, so this one is more packable though because it's so soft. You can pack this down and it kind of compresses and it gets around it versus the Thermarest, it gets this weird shape. Uh, so this one, 
is actually more packable than the Thermarest because it's a softer pillow. You can compress more stuff on it, but with it being a softer pillow, like I said, if you're a side sleeper, that's not gonna help you much, unless you combine it with other pillows. And hopefully you don't hear my kids in the background making weird noises. It's going from summer camp. They're arguing about chicken nuggets. So final verdict. Uh, it depends. It depends on what you're doing. So if I'm going backpacking, long multi-day trip backpacking, um, I'm in my hammock or even my tent, I'm most likely bringing this one. This is gonna be my go-to is the Teton Sports. Like I said, because the adjustability on the firmness, I can get it all the way up to where I can side sleep with it, or I can let enough air out to where it's just the foam part of it. It's got the extra warmth. It packs down small, it's lightweight. It's inexpensive. For backpacking, it's it's probably my my favorite. Now there are some hammock setups. If, I, if I'm running, this is if I'm in my bridge hammock. Like I said, if I was in my Warbonnet hammock doing a diagonal A, I don't really even need a pillow. Might bring this just in case. Um, but in that setup, I don't need a pillow. In my bridge hammock, or if I was on a tent, in a tent on the ground, <coughs> I'm using, I'm bringing this one right here, the Teton inflatable foam air pillow. Um, depending on how the length of the trip and how much gear I'm bringing, I might even bring this along with something like this. I might double it up on the pillows. Um, if it's not a multi-day 70 mile hike um, and I've got this extra space because these are these are light and these make a huge difference in your sleep um, one of the biggest impacts and factors of getting better sleep when I'm out there has been the pillow I would say for me it's been the most important thing uh, like sleeping pads and sleeping bags and all that stuff I went through but <coughs> nobody spends the time to really think about the pillows and without the pillows like I say, you got broad shoulders, you're a slide sleeper, you're gonna be really uncomfortable. Um, so bringing two pillows, not always a bad idea. Uh, but if I can only bring one, it'd be this, maybe combine it with this one. Now, if I was car camping, say I'm overlanding, I'm in the, the GX and I'm out there, I've got the extra space and that's not a concern, I'm bringing the big boy here because it's very soft and comfortable. It's gonna be my top pillow, probably with this pillow underneath it. So I would double these two up. If I was an overland type trip, I would bring these two pillows. So it really can depend on what you're doing and what your, your goal is, what your sleep setup is. Uh, but that's just a couple of mine, my experience with doing this stuff, the different hammock types. You can use different pillow types, you know, a tent, a hammock, a bridge hammock, a regular hammock, um, sleeping out of the back of your truck. It's, it varies. Um, so having all these is good, but if I can only if I could only choose one, I got the budget for only one pillow to rule them all. It's gonna be this the Teton. This is the one I would use if I could only have one pillow for anything. This is that's your winner winner chicken dinner right there for me. Teton Sports Comfort Light Pillow. So like I said, only what, twenty bucks I think they are, but. Yeah, 20 bucks right now. So hope that helps some of you guys out. Um, depending on how well these videos do, like I said, I'm gonna do them throughout the summer. I've got, I'm gonna go through my backpacks. I'll go through all my different sleeping pads. Uh, this is just one of four or five of them I have. Um, maybe I'll go through my tents. I'll go through all my little gear, different headlamps I have, uh, lots of chairs. I have lots of chairs. I use those on the boat too though, so not just for camping. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, do the whole YouTube thumbs up, share stuff. I don't know. Uh, we'll leave it there and I will see you guys. I won't say on the next one. That's what Dan Becker says. I'll see you guys when I feel like it. Love you my saying.